Am I lying? Yeah. Can't find it. <laughs> Are we good? Good. What? Hi. Oi, oi, Richie. Will. How's everyone doing? Day, day, day. I just clicked off from watching today's. <laughs> You can always go back and watch it, mate. The rum is not gone. All right, Ryan, Jack, Gareth. I'm a big fan. Cheers, Alicia. What's up? Yo. How's everyone doing? <coughs> a great video from today. Cheers, Andrew. Nice one. Feeling a bit tired. <laughs> What are we talking about tonight? I have no idea. Whatever you guys want to ask. Can you find abalone in the UK? I don't think you can. You on the rum smash? Yeah, I'm having one rum tonight. Maybe two. This quarantine has me going nuts. Yeah, I'm just grateful that we got two hours to go out. And we're actually allowed to go foraging as well. <laughs> uh... What's that? It's been confirmed. We can go shore fishing, Jay. It's been updated. Two hours. Sound. Yeah, I know we can go foraging as well. The states of Guernsey said. So that's why I've been trying to pump out as many videos as I can. Cheers, Ashley. Appreciate you. Uh, Ashley Price, shout out. Um, did you eat today's fine? No. I gave the abalone out. Have one for me. I will, Anthony. The multi-skill builder. <laughs> Hello from Brazil. Trying to do some foraging in North Ireland. And I don't seem to find any scallops. Are there any tips you have for scallops? Scallops, you need a very, very low tide. Um, they can only be round, sort of, if there's a big storm, it pushes them in. Or you're just going to have to be like potluck to find them. Uh, the bigger the tide, the better for you to find scallops, mate. Uh, they are quite difficult to find sometimes, unless you're in certain areas of the UK. I know they get quite an abundance, but uh, we're the same here. We don't get huge amounts on coastal foraging. Um, we just get the odd, like, two or three now and again. Hi, Mrs. Smash. <laughs> Jen's just done a runner. Uh, we can't go fishing or hunting. They aren't even selling licenses. Shit. Um, did your girlfriend's dad like his lobster? He did. He loved it. Um, evening, Jay. Cracking video earlier. Nice crab. A lovely lobster. Well done. Cheers, Lee. Nice one, mate. I was actually happy that we uh, got a couple of warmers. Take it out of you when the wellies and clothes get soaked, eh? Uh, no, not on a hot day. Not for me. I don't mind getting drenched, to be honest with you. It's uh, it's more just picking up all the boulders. Oi, oi, gave them out to Sam. Sam went ormering today himself, and he gave eight ormers to an old guy on the beach because he didn't want to keep them. That's what you call a legend right there. In today's vid, I almost asked you to do to go live. Uh, just finished watching the last episode. Cheers, Master Fisherman. Um, hey, Jay, please go spinning opposite rabies. They usually go. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of bass around there, mate. Uh, I'm not interested in bass fishing at the moment, to be honest with you. I just want to take advantage of these big tides so I can get loads of foraging in. And then I'll do some fishing, if we're allowed still, when they when the, when the tides get smaller. Hello, Jay. I was wondering when was going to be the next drink Q&A. Yeah, I thought I'd come see how you guys were. You guys have been commenting and watching the videos flat out. Well, hey, shout out Earl's Fishing. How's it going, mate? It's good to be back watching your live stream. Cheers, mate. I'm a bit tired. Because uh, I was only allowed out for two hours today, I went I went hell for leather on those rocks. Uh, yeah, I was pulling up rock after rock after rock. My back's a bit sore. 
Do you watch any other Coastal Foraging videos? Yeah, I watch Coastal Foraging on YouTube, mate. Do -do -do -do. Back on the booze again. Steph, nah. I'm just, uh, I like my little drink once I've been on a busy day. Is Inglorious out tonight? No, I believe he's got a bad tooth. I'm surprised he's not in here yet. <laughs> Seen your beard. How cold was it? Your breath was icy. It was actually really nice, to be honest. In the sunlight, it was nice. The water's really chilly, but um, no, it was a nice day, to be honest. I was just out of breath because I was constantly pulling up stones for two hours. <laughs> and the video before with the lobster, uh, I actually filmed half that video in slow-mo, so I had to revert half that video back to normal footage. I swear to God, I was losing my temper. <laughs> Uh, any chance you know of any good places in Ireland to forage? I don't, Joel. I really don't, mate. Sorry. Um, your best bet is uh, ask the commercial boys where they're getting a lot of lobsters and that. Just tell them what you're doing. Say you're just going off the shore to have a look in the holes and stuff. They won't mind. Hey, hey, Jay. Uh, come to Canada and go fishing. I may do one time. Sam looking after the old ones. That's it. He's always like that. You got your coke and rum. Last, love the last two videos. Big lobsters. Yeah, I know. I was on a jammy streak. I didn't get one today. I only had that little tiny one with one claw. Uh, I was, but I was. I found one hole though, where I went up to my shoulder plus my hook, and I could feel something nipping the the uh, hook, but I just couldn't get round it. So I didn't know if it was a lobster or a shanker or anything. I don't know what it was. Has Sam got a new boat yet? No. Sam's going to be out foraging with me tomorrow. We're going to keep our two metres distance. And we're just going to go out and try and find some more warmers and lobsters. I'm looking forward to getting out with Sam again, I must admit. Another lobby. Did you get a red moon tonight? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I've been so caught up in getting my video up and stuff. Um... Bro, what does Orma and abalone taste like? It's a hard question, man. That's a really hard question. Because, um... I'd say the taste is very much like cuttlefish. I've said this a lot in the past. The taste is very much like fried cuttlefish, but the texture is a bit different. Um, have you ever been bitten by a conga? No, not on the hands. On my foot, I have. Uh, super moon tonight. It looks amazing. Nice. Evening all. Nice teddy bear. Cheers, mate. Got a ciggy. Uh, out the front. I went for a ciggy before. It was well bright. Uh, can one of the admin just block this bloke, please? <laughs> um, is it just me or does the vids keep loading? I don't know what you meant by that, mate. Um, dee -dee -dee. Make sushi. I will do. When I, when I can actually get out and I've got a bit of time to play around with things and I... Uh, uh, I'll start cooking a bit better and that. Same as today. I was ormering for so long because I was enjoying myself. My two hours went like that. So there was no way I could uh, stay out to keep on uh, cooking. When you next go and bassin, mate. Brandon Zebel, I've probably picked up a few of your lures. <laughs> um, love your videos. Cheers, Amanda. No lures today. No, I didn't get any, but I know someone who got a couple. Uh, there's a few lads in here that fish in the spot I was uh, foraging. Is that yours, Brandon? I found that at the top of the beach. Brand new. Still got the price tag. <laughs> um, how much are lobsters to buy? I don't know. I've never brought one, <laughs> to be honest with you. I've never brought a lobster in my life. Uh, I love the videos that you were posting lately. Congratulations on the spider. Yeah, that was a bonus. I couldn't believe that. That was my first spider of the year. I was gunning for him as well. Yeah, I've had, I've had wow loads of fun the last couple of days, I swear. Oh, it's been more great. Uh, I've always wanted to ask you, what is the strangest thing you ever found, living or otherwise? Probably a dildo. That's probably the strangest thing. Um, obviously, it wasn't alive. <laughs> Have you left any almonds for me? Uh, there was quite a few people around, to be honest, mate. You got me eating claws now. Nice legs. The old pearly whites. Um, 
Do you have a bearded dragon? No, I used to have a water dragon. Sent you a personal message, mate. Oh, I can't look at it because my phone's on here, mate. I'll have a look after the live and I'll get back to you, mate. Holy cow, I love your channel. Thank you. Spider-Man. Uh, I found the Tackle House Feed Shallow Lure. It was 20 quid. Yeah, they're all quite expensive then, Tom. They're really expensive. Uh, spider crabs are really awesome. We'd really like to try one. Here in Germany, you can't get fresh crab. Um, uh, do you ever take your hat off? Yeah, I do sometimes. I've just got a bad hair day, mate. It's bad all good. Hair day. Bad hair month, according to the missus. <laughs> Uh, Barry. <laughs> hold on. All right, hold on. Where is he? There we go. All right, sound. Barry, I'm trusting you. <laughs> um, yeah. Who does the subtitles for your videos? If you ever want a laugh, watch with the subtitles on. Who does the subtitles? YouTube gives you the option. Um, what is your best catch, fishing and foraging? Best catch is always a conger. I love to catch big conger eels. Hello, Mrs. Smash. Hey. <laughs> She's sitting there doing her work, eating her grapes. <laughs> Why is the missus not coming along uh, with your hunt? Could be fun. Not for me. I'll be worried about her breaking her leg. <laughs> Some of us got to go to work. Yeah, and she's got to work as well. Uh, hello from South Africa. I love your videos. It's really interesting. I forage a lot here, sadly. Uh, I have to dive to get my lobsters. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all the videos are great. Cheers, mate. Uh, what's the reason you don't keep the scallops? Because on this part of the island, where the scallops are is a harbour mouth, and it's quite a dirty harbour as well. So there's a lot of dead stuff there, and uh, I'm just not comfortable eating from there, to be honest. You've got to make sure stuff like that's clean. Didn't know you were alive. Yeah. You've got to have your post notifications on, Inglorious. Uh, cheers, Barry. <laughs> Barry, you've been promoted. Hi Jay and Mrs. Smash. <laughs> yeah. Anyone that don't know, me and Barry are usually just ripping each other back and forth on the internet. <laughs> uh, I like Barry, he's funny. Um can you give a shout out? Uh, uh shout out Kim, thank you for all your hard work in the hospital and that. Uh you guys are the heroes at the moment. Do you have any hobbies? Bar foraging, yeah, fishing. Fishing or foraging or spear fishing, that's my hobbies. What's weird, Dan? I didn't see what your comment was, mate. What's your favourite thing to forage? I love to go after lobsters. I love pulling lobsters out of holes. But um, I like it all. I just like the whole experience. Um, foraging is weird. Get out of here, mate. You're a fisherman. Ban him, Barry. Oh, you can't. <laughs> um, bro, watching you has inspired me. When this BS is over, I'm foraging. You get out there, mate. Nice one. Foraging's great. Even if you don't want to eat anything, you can just go around and have a look at the creatures. It's You'll be surprised how fun it really is, especially if you've got kids as well. Well, obviously, just be safe. What do you do for work? I'm a full-time YouTuber. Do you ever eat the Queen's scallops? They look like uh, good today. Um, Catherine, they're, they're just very small. If they were really big Queen's scallops, I would. But they're just really small. Why don't you do more spear fishing bids? Because we're only, got, we're only allowed out for two hours at the moment. So, uh... It is what it is. I've just got to do the best I can with my two hours. Do you find more stuff currently? Yeah. The lower the tide, the more stuff I can find. Uh, that's the rule of thumb of any foraging, no matter where you are. Um, the lower the tide, it's way better. 
What do you find most often? Well, you've got your creatures that are there all the time, like the thick top shelves, the painted top shelves and all that. Um, that's a hard question to answer. What do you find most often? I don't know. We find quite a lot of lobsters over here. I must admit, like small ones and big ones. What colour should I put on my bot? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, the way you're throwing out videos 100k before the end of the year is out easy. Hopefully, Sophie. That's my goal, get 100k. Make enough money to employ Sam. That's my new goal. <laughs> my first goal was to get full, uh, go full-time YouTube. Second goal, get Sam doing YouTube. <laughs> Obviously, it's all got to pay for itself, but yeah. Uh, you're getting more Lobos and Inglorious at the moment. <laughs> uh, foraging is ace. I do it with my little, my little lad all the time. Nice one. Uh, bit of lag. How is Sam? Sam's good. Yeah, he's really good. He went out foraging today. He should have filmed it, really. He's got a GoPro. I've lent him the other one. Um, yeah, he went out today. He got eight Ormers, I believe, and he gave them to an old guy. Guernsey is really beautiful, as I saw in the walk around vid a couple of days ago that he posted. Yeah, Guernsey is a beautiful place, especially when the sun's out. I actually got caught, I caught the sun a bit today. I was white as Casper before. <laughs> Can people forage freshwater clams, etc.? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to give advice for something that I don't know about, to be honest. I'm all, I, I know a lot about Guernsey stuff, but um, I, I don't want to just give you advice for freshwater especially, because I know freshwater, some fish can pick up certain parasites and stuff, so... I don't know. Uh, you're best to just do as much research as you can. You should do a 24 hour live stream, donate cash to the NHS, smash for life. Uh, that's something that could happen. Uh, I'll have to set that up though. I'll have a look into that mate. Finally, Barry's a moderator, yeah. Oh, I'm knocking the camera over. Uh, you need to wear official Smash apparel. <laughs> um, do you find oysters at all? And where are you located at? What part of the UK? Uh, we're in the Channel Islands. Uh, Alexis, I think your name is. Uh, do you find oysters? Yeah, we find oysters now and again. They're not something that we come across all the time, though. But, uh, yeah, we do have them here. Um, when is your next video? Hopefully tomorrow. I'm trying to do daily videos at the moment. Uh, it's not going to stay for too long, but... At the end of the day, I'm just going to do what I can. I'm doing my best at the moment. That's my goal. I'm trying to make daily vlogs. Till the point I can't. Is that a maximum you can carry out a day? Uh, not for Ormers there isn't, if that's what you're talking about. Good advice as always, cheers mate. Thoughts on Andy Webb? Don't care, don't care. <laughs> um, hey, what's up? I love the videos, keep up the good work, cheers mate. Uh, did you grow up in Guernsey and are you interested in taking fans? of your channel out foraging. Leon, eventually I will. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Guernsey. Um, yeah, now I've got more time on my hands. When all this virus stuff calms down, I'll be happy to take people out. More than happy. Uh, Dave, eventually, mate. I'm, I'm looking into merch and stuff at the moment. Obviously, I need to set it all up. videos can you use squat lobsters as bait probably uh, I believe rats will probably eat them I don't know would you ever do commentary I basically do now on the videos to be fair <laughs> um, what would you consider your best day ever foraging 
a uh, couple of lobsters, a couple of oysters, a couple of scallops, and a couple of ormers. There you go. Um, yeah, that would be good. Sorry, sorry if I'm missing comments, guys. I'm just scrolling to the bottom at the moment. <laughs> can you catch octopus in Guernsey? Yes, you can, but um, they're quite scarce. Nice, Barry. Hi mate, just wanted to say that uh, every night I check you, uh, when I check YouTube, I see a video from you and I just get really happy. You really are a sun ray of joy in these hard times. Cheers Arthur, appreciate that. Babe, it's really hot in here, eh? Mm. Was it just me? It was you. It's because I've got a hat on. Because you're hot. Huh? <laughs> I know what you said. <laughs> Merch will come when things are back to normal, guys. That's it, Barry. Uh, I, I'm very limited at the moment. I'm lucky to even be making videos. Because a lot of YouTube channels can't. So I'm very grateful for what I have at the moment. Yeah, you should do some merchandise and do some giveaways. Oh, definitely. Uh, when I do merch, I'll definitely be doing giveaways and stuff. Uh, Robert White, thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. Um... If you run out of time on the beach tomorrow, could you do a cook at your missus smash? Smash this place on vid. Um, I don't know. I might do. Uh, I like to keep it on the beach if I can. I like the whole aspect of going out, finding my food and cooking it on the beach. But um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It depends what I get, to be honest. Um, shout out Bradley. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Do top knots grow big enough to get? Uh, yeah, you can get top knots about about this sort of size. That's a good one, but they're not very good eating in my opinion, to be honest, mate. Uh, I noticed your your bears are. All... Oh, no idea. Can't read that. Evening, mate. Nice video today. Myself and Brandon went Ormer and had a few. Taking the missus tomorrow. Uh, get some razor fish. There's loads of St. Samson's outside the harbour, mate, if you're going to go for razor fish. If, if you're using them for bait, I take it you are. Um, yeah, outside St. Samson, there's loads, but I wouldn't eat those ones, though. <laughs> um, I was walking through the other day, and there was just squirts coming up everywhere. I finally got my shed built yesterday, pal, uh, so I'll be setting it up for the gear soon. Might do a live stream when I'm doing it. Yeah, do it, uh, for sure. I'll, be, I'll definitely tune into that. Nice one. Uh, did you eat the spare lobster you caught with the spider crab? No, I gave it to my girlfriend's dad. Uh, he enjoyed that one. I, I promised him a lobster one time. So, I kept to my word. <laughs> um, I will buy all your merchandise when you figure it out. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Nice one. Um, uh, What's that? In Japan they eat weird stuff. Uh, you wash out the crabs, like stomach, etc. Uh, that brown stuff inside is perfectly perfectly fine to eat. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't know what other people eat, to be honest, and I don't really care, to be fair. They, people can eat what they want. Uh, yeah. If they want to do it, then fair play to them. Uh, I'm not going to make a statement on it when I don't even... I don't live their life, so... Huh? What's up? Yeah, <laughs> you know they can hear you, eh, babe? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Hi, Jay, you're looking tired, pal, Stevie in Scotland. Yeah, I'm tired, mate. I've been lifting boulders all day. Uh, my shoulder, every time I lift, I go warmer and I get I get my neck hurts here. Uh, yeah, it's just like going to the gym, isn't it? You go two hours of picking up giant boulders. Um, yeah, soon, soon, soon wear you out. I'm good. After a nice sleep, I wake up tomorrow, have a coffee, and I'll be back on it. How do you highlight someone's... Oh, no idea. Uh, what are you growing under that hat of yours, Jay? I'm brewing a bad haircut. That's what I'm doing. Check that out. That's why. I'm not bald, don't worry. Not yet. <laughs> Did you cook up those abalone? No, I gave those ones out. Yo, just started watching and I enjoy it. Cheers, Romeo. Nice one. 
Aren't there many places you still didn't forage in Guernsey? There's loads of little spots. Like, I've foraged a lot of the beaches here. But, like, certain sides of a bay or something like that. That's what I mean when I say, oh, I haven't been here before. Um, are there many places... Oh, yeah. Sorry, Raidstone comment. Um, who needs a gym when you have giant rocks and larries to pull? Yeah, it's true. If you're picking up boulders all day, you're soon going to get a workout. <laughs> uh, you look like Eminem with the hat off. Someone said that to me before, Jack. I've actually had that a few times. Uh, I, th I think it was John Turner. He was calling me B-Rabbit. <laughs> uh, what is your full-time job? It's YouTube now. I got I got scared when you lifted up the first boulder in the video. Uh, I felt the pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not scared to try and tackle those big boulders. Uh, some of them I get a bit cocky and I'll lift it. And I'll get halfway and I'm just trying to get it off and I can't. <laughs> but I'm not the biggest lad in the world, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was funny. Especially with that sun shining down on your back, bud. Oh God, don't you stop. Some of us are bald, mate. But no offence taken. Ah! Bald is cool, mate. It's all good, eh? How long do low tides last? Usually two or three hours. Um, like, for foraging, anyway. I can usually get two or three good hours of foraging in on one tide. Um, love your videos, mate. It drives my girlfriend mad when I watch the videos at night. Smash fishing. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, you look a bit red smash. Put some more lotion on tomorrow. Yeah, I got freaking nuked, mate. Was it Was it today I seen you, Ryan, or yesterday? I can't even remember. I've been so busy trying to like edit the videos and get them out early and stuff. It's been mad. Have you ever ate an endangered moth? Never. Why would I eat an endangered moth? Uh, even a smash, why do people go mad for abalone? What do they taste like? Uh, I'm giving up telling people what they taste like now, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, no offence to you. I'll do it one more time. It's it's more like cuttlefish with a different texture. That's all I'm going to say. I, I answer that question all the time. Um, uh, but they taste amazing. Uh, they're a delicacy as well, you know, because not many places you can get the abalone. So people go mad over them. And now, if you ever try a normal burger, trust me, be like a crackhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm noticed. <laughs> uh, cheers, Jack. Um, dee 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 dee. Here's a round on me, mate. Keep up the good work. Uh, JK Dan's. Cheers, mate. Appreciate you, mate. Yeah, about to pay for the next rum. What's the heaviest fish you have caught? Either a taupe or a conger. Why didn't you take that spider crab in the broken pot? I didn't even think of it, to be honest with you. I, I didn't even think of taking it. <laughs> um, yeah, that pot was... You, you could see it, the rope had been cut, so it's some knob doing funny buggers. Um, that's why I phoned Dan straight away, because I thought, oh, if that's Dan's pot, then it's happy days. Well done, being full-time YouTube pal. Uh, Wayne, it wasn't planned at this time uh, because of the coronavirus my boss was forced into an early retirement but uh yeah it's all good i'm a lot better off than some people so i can't i can't complain what is your favorite seafood i love it all bradley love it all mate love the videos keep up the great work uh yep 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 i still want to come visit guernsey jay and fish with you hopefully within the year Loads of beer and great fun on the shore. Yeah, for sure, mate. <laughs> Don't start, Aaron. Low um, tide. And you're right. The boulder tipping is proper workout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Ties you out, definitely. It's like going to the gym for three hours and not stopping. And especially when I go down the beach. I don't stop when I'm down the beach. I don't take breaks. <laughs> it's just smash it. Um, what was that? Is that your teddy bear, Jay? Tell the truth. Uh, yeah. That's old Bugs, you know? Bugs Bunny. Uh, look at, he looks after me every night. It's when the missus is mad at me, you know, I've got to cuddle something. <laughs> uh, is that a... Uh, you fly walking past on the beach? Yeah, John, that is. That's an old, that's old, look, an old poo pipe. Hence the reason I don't eat the Venus clams off that beach. Um, have you ever eaten a smooth hound? Um, I've heard they're yeah, gross, but who knows? Uh, I've never eaten a smooth hound. I've eaten bull hearts and dogfish and all that, but never a smooth hound. What's that? Two questions. Are you making enough of YouTube plus your girlfriend's income? And are you going to try and find a new job when the virus is over, mate? Uh, yeah, that is quite a personal one. <laughs> uh, yeah, we make enough anyway. We make ends meet. As red as a lobster. Hell yeah. I am. I'm actually, I'm burnt here. I can feel it. you got legs like a spider crab, mate. Nah, I'm more like a plucked chicken, mate. <laughs> Go on, get it right. <laughs> Jay, what happened to Larry after the delicious spider crab? That went... To my girlfriend's dad. Hi, Smash again. Could you give a shout out to my wife, Mandy? Here with me, please. Shout out, Mandy. Thanks for watching, Dave and Mandy, both of you. I'm really tired today. I, I, if you notice, when I'm really tired, I slur. It's either that or the rum's kicking in. One of them. <laughs> um, did you ever eat a brown crab? I've eaten brown crab before, yeah. It's not my most favourite thing, though, to be fair. Jay, how are you? I'm tired, Darren. I'm a bit beaten up today. And I've still got three days of ormering to go, yet. Yeah? <laughs> uh, can you bring your missus on to say hello? Nope, because she's got little skimpy shorts on. And you guys will have a field day, boys. I know what you're like. <laughs> Hey Smash, um, say hi. oh yes, I'm reading the same bloody comments. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to bear with me tonight. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. Um, um, do you catch much cod from the shore, mate? Um, no, we don't find a lot of them, mate. But uh, we get them now and again. I think my biggest is about seven pound. We don't like, but the record over here is like thirty six. But uh, we just don't get them a lot. We don't get a big run of them. We we tend to get them when we're throwing big baits out for like a. Uh, Either conga or ray or something like that. They just like get a fluky cod. Uh, good question though, man. It's nice to get a fishing question now and again. <laughs> uh, hey, when all this is over, will you do another catch and cook with the smaller shore crabs? I've spoken on Facebook before. Um, yeah, I think I remember your comment, mate. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I I may try the shore crabs again. I'm not sure. Just see how things go. Um, I tend not to plan things too much, to be honest with you. I'm better on the fly. So whatever I find on the beach and decide to eat, that's what's going to get cooked up, to be fair. Do you eat congas, mate? Uh, Andy, yeah, I've done a catch and cook conga on the channel. Let's fish got timed out by Barry. <laughs> Thanks for moderating today, Barry. Appreciate it. Did you find out what the orange fish was? Yeah, it's called a uh, a black-headed goby. That's it. Uh, nah, the rum ain't kicking in yet. I've only had one little glass, mate. What YouTubers do you watch, if any? Uh, I watch quite a few. I watch quite a few. Um... You must have missed a load of lobsters underneath that kelp, yeah. Now that kelp's really funny, because it's so big, you've got to like pull it all to one side. I'll tell you, it's hard work. But uh, if you find a decent lobster hole, you know, you can pull some big ones out as well. And that sort of place, where I was today, 
that's the sort of place where you're going to find like a big 20 pound conga in a hole. Um, that's the sort of place where you find the monsters. Uh, you just can't get there much. So the so all of the animals sort of make residence there. Eh? They don't expect to get them covered. What kind of rods are in the background? Um, that's my Pen Regiment, Pen Regiment 2, 20 to 50 gram bass rod with 20 pound braid, a Pen Battle 2 on there and a 15 pound leader of fluorocarbon to a scary eel. And that one there, that's my uh, light outfit for uh, Texas rigging for wrasse. So I've got a size 1 weedless with just a little mullet float, a little 3 gram mullet float. And then I've got 10 pound line straight through, small reel. I've forgotten what weight this rod is. Um, this has got a casting weight of 6 to 18 gram. So it's like, it's super lightweight this thing. But you catch a 6 pound Rocky on that, you have a right blast. It's like the ratchet just goes, Zzz. sick, I love it. Did you, Sam, and Inglorious grow up together? No. Um, Sam's with my sister. That's how I know Sam. But Inglorious, I've known, I've known since we were kids. I used to hang around with his brother. I went to school with his brother and that. And then uh, we all used to go fishing together as kids. Uh, Jay, I'm heading off to bed now. See you later, Wayne. See you later, Ryan. Uh, when you're getting back into fishing, uh, once the big tides go. I just want to get a load of foraging in at the moment. Uh, Stevie, how do you how do you attach to your leader your leader knot to your main line? A uni to uni knot I use. I've never had a problem with it ever. Uh, your blue foraging bag, where did you get them? Um, we bought them from mixed fish and supplies, but they've stopped. They've stopped getting them now, and I can't find them anywhere online. To be honest with you, uh, are any of the beaches restricted? From what's going on, um, you're not allowed to sunbathe and just lounge around on the beaches. If you want to go there, you have to be walking or uh, something like that, and keep your obviously safe distance. That's the rules down the beach at the moment. You're only allowed out for two hours. You got to stay away from people. Uh, you have to stay two meters away from people, and um, yeah, and you're not allowed to just sit around wasting time, really. And you're good. Just bored. Still checking out kayaks to buy. How about you? Nice. What is your favourite drink? Water. I love water. I must admit. Have you ever eaten sugar kelp? Uh, we blanched them here and eat like snack wraps. Um, yeah, I've tried it. It wasn't that great, to be fair. Uh, it wasn't for me, you know. I'm holding off on the beers. Sorry, I couldn't stay long, pal. Uh, you will understand when you read the message I sent you. Just sent a message tomorrow, pal. Yeah, no worries there, mate. No problem. Every time I see one of your videos, first thing I want to scream is LOBSTER! <laughs> uh, is the rock fishing any good round your normal patch? Will you be using... what's that? Uh, will you be doing anything on use of jellies regards? I don't know what you meant there, man. Uh, I'm probably just being slow, to be honest. I'm tired. I love brown crab. Fair enough, Ralph. The tide seems to come in quick. Ever been cut off? Yes. Um, the tide comes in very quick. As fast as it goes out, it comes back in bloody quick. Uh, yeah, you've got to have your wits about you. Um, so do you work for YouTube and just make sure everything's safe on people's lives? Videos and do my own lives. That's it. Do you have many affected by the coronavirus? 170, I think. Something like that. Uh, come to USA where you can deer meat. Yeah, I'd love to do a collab with deer meat. That'd be cool. Smash, fish it. Woohoo! What's up, mate? 
How do you prove you've only been out for two hours? Well, that's the thing, eh? We've got a lot of coppers patrolling the uh, shores at the moment. So if they see you out for ages, then they're going to bother you. But to be fair, they're not going to go running out on the rocks after you, to be honest. Uh, I just like to keep with it because I'm filming myself as well. I don't, I don't, I don't want to just start breaking laws for the sake of it. Uh, is there anything you have always wanted to catch, but never have? Yes, I want a crayfish. I want to forage a crayfish, a big spiny lobster. That's what I want. Um, but yeah, they're just they're they're one in a few, you know. How is it for ray fishing around your area? It's on and off. Uh, when they come in, they come in in force, but uh, they are quite tricky to catch. You ever tried real crab lure for wrasse? Yeah, I've tried them, but I've never caught anything on them. The shrimp ones are good. But uh, every time I watch you, it makes me want seafood. <laughs> From Denmark. How much is a fishing license or foraging license over there? You don't need a foraging or fishing license over here. Only if you're selling your catch. Uh, you've got you, all you've got to do is stick to the size limits and obviously the restrictions, and that's it. Um, how much money do you think you save eating your catch? Not much. I eat quite a lot. Um, where's the best place to fish where you are? And is there a B&B &B and a nice pub? Oh, there's loads of pubs over here, Lee. Loads of them. <laughs> uh, hi, Mum. Mr. Smash is in the house. <laughs> uh, Mama Smash. Robert White, that sucks. That happened to our beaches in Florida. My kids get inspired by your videos and pretend they're foraging in the lounge room. Lifting pillows up to find pretend lobsters. Haha, <laughs> that's sick. I love to hear that. Oh, shout out to them. That's sick. Do you get blue sharks close to your shore? Uh, we get um, poor beagles close to our shore as well. Uh, a friend of mine who puts nets out, he had a massive, I think it was like a £300 poor beagle in his nets, tangled up in 30 feet of water. <laughs> Other than seafood, what is your favourite thing to eat? Steak. Oh yeah, another steak. Uh, 150 in the live. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. It always helps the channel. Promotes it a little bit more. Uh, thanks for watching. You should go fishing on the Isle of Wight. It's brilliant fishing there. Nice. Uh, yeah, but once all this stuff dies down, as I've said before, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'll, I'll be looking to go out for little trips, maybe weekends away or something. Thinking about starting spear fishing in the summer, uh, is it only possible at slack tide, high and low? Just asking as you've done it before, thanks. Uh, no, you can do it mid tides as well, as long as you're not in a, a heavy tide flow area. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you to go into anywhere there's a strong current. Uh, if you're in bays and stuff, yeah, you'd be fine. Um, just have your wits about you though, make sure you do your research for spear fishing. Make sure you know how to dive and how to equalise. Uh, yeah, and go with someone. It's always safer. You know, if something happens and you black out, your friend's there to save you. Can you find lobsters in sandbanks? Uh, doubt, I don't know. Main, they're mainly going to be in the rough, to be fair. Do you get bait delivered from the mainland? I used to. I used to order bait, but uh, not anymore. Previous uh, buying in market. Uh, uh, what is a fish or sea animal in general that was way tastier after you catched and cooked it yourself compared to the same thing that you previously see they buying? And I've never brought seafood from a market before, to be honest with you. So I can't tell you. I can't tell you the taste comparison. 
I've always either got my fish off the beach or I just didn't eat it. Simple as that. Uh, I won't pay the prices for lobsters and stuff when uh, I've always known I could go out and get them. Even as a kid you can go out and get them. So all you got to do is spend a little time and uh, yeah, yeah, go find them. Um, I like the gulp stuff. Uh, they used to do some quality little paddle tails. Yeah, uh, where is it? You want about like this, like the shrimps and that, let's fish. And uh, I love the logworms. These logworms are amazing for wrasse, especially the big wrasse as well. Thanks for your vids. Being in Manchester, I never get to the sea. Your vids remind me of my youth rock pool in Scotland. Ha, <laughs> nice one, Andy. Thanks for watching, mate. Nice one. All right, I'm just going to skip to the bottom, guys. I have brown porcelain crabs. <laughs> Um, hi Jay, I also fish mainly carp, tench, cats etc. Fair play mate, nice one. Love the vids mate. If you get BBC will you... What's that? If you get on BBC will you take... Nah, I wouldn't work for the BBC. Uh, why work for the BBC when I've got my own TV show on YouTube, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm not interested in working for another company when I run things myself. You know? Look at that. Thanks for keeping us going in Manchester, Jay. Cheers, mate. You drinking brandy? No, I'm drinking uh, lamb's rum. Shout out South Africa. How did Sam get on uh, the Sea Angler magazine and you didn't? Because I'm not bothered about it. <laughs> um, yeah, he sent his pictures in and then they asked him to do a write-up. Um, yeah, I'm not interested in nothing like that. I've got enough to do with making these videos, so. But, uh, yeah, if anyone's seen that right up that Sam done, that was cool. He done a really good job of it. Almost died on the rocks a few years ago. Temporarily paralysed my leg and took me over two hours to drag myself back to shore. Hospital. Yeah, you need to be bloody careful, mate. Um, it all looks fun and dandy until you do slip. I've had some falls before. Uh, not from slipping though, I, I walked off the edge of a freaking cliff basically and fell six feet onto my head. <laughs> and I woke up, but I don't know how long bloody later, I was covered in blood and nothing. I carried on fishing and then uh, packed my shit up and went home. Uh, I really so much about you. Uh, so much from you, Jay. Now I know where to look for lobsters and something next time. That if, is if we can do the beach yeah hopefully you get some clay nice one as long as you're learning it's a good day that's the that's the stuff gulp i've been given those yeah it's great stuff the gulp can i forage at tesco's <laughs> do you get lots of octopus in the uk yeah we get octopus here but um we just don't get a lot here once you eat fresh fish uh you've caught you would never eat from a market or a shop again you hear jay when he's eating hmm yeah i go mm, for a, i actually left a load of those ums in the video to take the piss if anyone didn't notice <laughs> i know i had a few comments like oh stop with the mm. uh it was just making me laugh the amount i said um in that video i was in hysterics editing that so i was like i'll oh, bugger it i'll leave it in i'll get roasted for it i don't care <laughs> uh i love watching you jay i'm a forager myself mainly mushrooms uh, I'm not a lover of fish or seafood. Uh, I can get to like them soon though. Although, is Sam your brother or friend? No, Sam's uh, my sister's boyfriend. He's a good lad as well. What are you cooking for supper, Jay? I've had mine. I had steak with broccoli, carrots, a few chips, and um, salt and peppercorn sauce, I think. Peppercorn sauce, is it? Something like that. Jay, can you please give a shout out? Uh, shout out, Barbara. Uh, any octopus in the UK? Yep. Do you have anything for flatfish? Do you have anything for flatfish? What do you mean? Do you have any flatfish? Yeah, we got flatfish over here. Look up in glorious fishing. It gets a massive turbot. 
Kono, cheers mate. All right, mate. Uh, what other programs do you use? Uh, Adobe Final Cut or uh, iMovie. iMovie's great for the standard videos I do. I don't do any fancy editing, see. I just uh, I try and keep it very simple and basic. I like all the basic editing. Jay, never change, mate. I won't change. It's hard to change me. Can you give a shout out? If you can't leave together. Shout out, Cara. Watch your videos when we get together. Matt Hale. Um, what's your favourite sandwich? No idea. Uh, is this your bedroom? No, this is a spare room. Yeah? Babe on a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I'll have you on a sandwich any day, babe. <laughs> Barry the moderator, yeah. Yeah. Miracles do happen. <laughs> uh. Have you ever tried a brown cow? Oh, don't even start, bro. <laughs> I don't drive. Ursi, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. <laughs> yes, if someone could make that mm, compilation of Jay, that would that would be fun. But that just makes us crave for more lobsters and abalone. <laughs> There'll be more coming, hopefully. Um, from enemy to friends now. We were never enemies. We were just winding each other up. Popping up. Clams or Ormers, choose one. Ormers, hands down, Ormers. Not even a competition. Orma burgers, in my opinion, are better than a freaking cooked lobster. That's saying something. And I love lobsters. Glad you're able to get out and film your foraging exploits. Just jealous I can't get out, go fishing. Still working though. Oh, take it easy, mate. Uh, I think all fishermen are losing their mind at the moment. Uh, I'm I'm really trying to pump some content out every day at the moment just for you guys to watch something, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm putting maximum effort in it at the moment. So by the end of this, I'm going to be aching, I can assure you that. Stay safe, Jay. Keep the content coming, I will do, Ian. I've been watching all of your fish vids for maybe one or two years. Love your vids. Nice one, appreciate that. Uh, are all your restaurants etc closed at the moment? Yeah, all the restaurants are closed, all the shops, well pretty much all the shops are closed. And uh, there's a few little shops that you can get bits from and that's it. Is Sam going out for a forage these tides? Tomorrow he's coming out. I'm loving the content, brown crab are so cool. Yeah, they're feisty as well. Loving the content, brow clouds are so cool. Uh, see a smash, keep up the videos. Ooh, sorry. Uh, cheers, Dave. It's much appreciated. Cheers, Andy. I've seen your comment before. <laughs> Where's your dream fishing trip be? And what would you hope to catch or forage? If it was a fishing trip, I'd want to catch some GTs or marlin or something like that. Or Goliath Grouper, uh, something like that. Or foraging, I wouldn't mind going anywhere really. I love here. Here's amazing for foraging anyway. Um, I don't know, go to Wales one time, go with Craig maybe. Uh, I'll forage anywhere really to be fair. It doesn't bother me. Um, the spider crab one was the best. Cheers mate. Um, you were the first person who ate dogfish uh, in South Africa. We don't eat it. We call it shy shark. I will try next time. Yeah, you'll be very surprised how good that really is, mate. It's driven me insane not being able to fish. I bet Lee. Oh, trust me. Oh, does my head in as well. But uh, I'm just grateful for my two hours, man. It's amazing what you can do when you're filming two hours. You get really creative, but it doesn't have to tie you out. 
Can you do a catch and cook brown crab? I need to find one big enough, mate. Uh, all the ones I'm finding at the moment are just not big enough. Maybe one or two might have pushed it, but uh, yeah, they're just not big enough for me to keep. 48 hour, you only eat things that you catch ocean or shore. Um, yeah, I will, Daniel. Um, once all the virus stuff goes, this is once again, once the virus goes, I will do like 48 hours survival missions or 24 hours, and that's it. I want to go out and see what I can find, but to photograph it, uh, not eat it, laugh aloud. I did once find a Barry Larry. Fair play, though. Come to Costa Rica. Costa Rica is somewhere that I do want to go. Uh, don't you have the rooster fish as well? Going to people say, red sky at night, Guernsey's on fire. Do you like um, the other island? Yeah, I've got no problem with them, James. I, I don't care for all that banter crap. Uh, it makes no difference to me. I must visit Scotland, Jay, sometime. Yeah, maybe. Uh, sorry, I'll just skip to the bottom, guys, because uh, I was getting a few comments there. Um, I know... What was it? I think it was 40 almonds today were being sold for 125 quid. I think. Or was it less than that? I can't remember. It was roughly that though. They're going for, they go for a lot of money. I know someone the other day was selling 10 for 80 quid. That's just freaking stupid. Um, yeah. The, pe the prices people pay for them is ridiculous. But I'm not interested in selling them. I'd rather give them to my pop or my dad or something. But lately I couldn't. So it's got to be around this area. Ever had a foraging catch? Check for size. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the past I've had the Orma people come down and check the Ormas and that. They do it to quite a few people. Hi Jay. Me and my fans do much. Want to come to Guernsey and forage with you? Cara, maybe one day. Uh, I can't promise you that I'm going to come out with you, but if you come over, I might find the time and go out. Depends. Do you ever watch John's channel? I don't know who you're on about, mate. Hello, Smash. Do you ever been... No, I've never been to New Zealand. Have you ever seen anyone get caught out in the toys? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I've actually seen kids caught out on the rocks before, and I've actually pulled them off. I've walked up to here in water and pulled them back. <laughs> yeah. Madness. Uh, love your show. From Arizona. Keep up the good work. Cheers, mate. Oi oi, silent moth. Can you sell the Orma shells to me, please? No, I'm not selling anything, mate. Tell Sam to get out and make a video. Yeah, he went out Orma today. I'm surprised he didn't film it. I'm really surprised he didn't film it. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. What's the biggest spider crab you have found? Six, seven pounds, I think, something like that. Not on camera, but um, yeah, a while back. Have you ever met Craig Evans? No, I speak to him now and again though. What's the average water temp by you? I have no idea. Uh, absolutely no idea. Um, what are the tackle shops like over there? There's one. Mixed Fish and Supplies. And uh, he does everything. He does everything from lures, rods. You name it. They do everything there. Um... What am I missing? My cousin and I got caught out by the tide, but we just brought back. Fair play. Uh, it's not always the case. Sometimes you got to swim. <laughs> um, well, this is the first live I get to watch. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for watching, mate. I see you get nine abalone. How come you did not keep the spider? Spider lobster. The lobster was too small. 
And the spider crab in the crab pot, I didn't even think of it. Because it's not my crab pot, I didn't even think about it. Uh, that's why I didn't take it. I will be going, man. Have a good one. See you later, mate. Oh, Barry, <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> Jeez, Barry just got the machete out. <laughs> uh, you're near, to... you're so lucky. Irish seas freezing, bud. There's water's cold over here as well, man. Because we're a little island, we get the big flush of water come through. Um, yeah, our water's cold as well at the moment, but it's going to warm up pretty quickly. Um, hence the reason I use a 5mm or 7mm wetsuit. Uh, 108 likes, no dislikes. That's a first. We haven't got a hater in the live today. That's cool. Wish you all the best. Keep up good work. Cheers, Ian. Hey, I'd love to see you live. Where do you cook up with warmers you got last video? Uh, I gave the warmers out. I gave all the warmers out, those ones. I love that smashing and glorious of friends. Yeah, we, we, we're always friends. We rip each other to pieces, but it's funny. <laughs> Did you not feel bad for the spider crab and lobster you shoved in your backpack? No, because they were going to go straight into a cook pot anyway. Um... How did you start fishing? My dad. My dad had me on the boat when I was this bloody big. I was a little nipper. Uh, and you know what he used to do? He used to pull his nets in. He used to do nets back then, yeah? And they'd be full of weed and I'd be the one to clean it out. So now I've got a thing against nets. I hate nets. <laughs> you converted the haters, yeah? All the haters were just uh, fans in denial, eh? Oh, I've got one dislike now. Someone had to be an ass, so... <laughs> uh, how Sam? Sam's very good. Sam's very good. Um, I was glad to hear that he went out armoring today. I know he was dying to do something. He's been stuck in for so long. Um, yeah, I thought fair play to him when he gave the old man some. Thought you. Uh, that crab pot was a spider crab, innit? I know someone that would have, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I. Uh, because it wasn't my crab pot, I didn't think of taking anything, you know what I mean? But I forget, I forgot it was cut off, eh? So I could have just took the crab pot. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, eh? It happens. Haters have a change of heart. Yeah, why not, eh? I don't mind a few haters. I, I'm quite a banterish person, so it's all good. There we go, we've got two now. <laughs> uh, do you get to choose your two-hour time to be out and about? Yes, luckily. Because the tides obviously skip an hour each time, eh? So, it is what it is. Uh, how's the bottom fishing in Guernsey at the moment? I don't know, I haven't been out. <laughs> Grams with you, mate. Uh, have you gotten stuck from, a, from the high tides? Uh, not often. It doesn't happen often anymore. I know the marks very well that we go to, so... Uh, the chances of me getting caught off are very slim now. It's, it's only if we're catching a lot of fish and I forget. That'd be it. How can anyone hate this channel? You're always happy and positive. Some people are just moody, mate. That's all right. I don't expect everyone to like me, you know what I mean? I don't like everyone, you know what I mean? I, I, I've got people I dislike. But at the end of the day, here's what it is. Eh? I'm not going to hate on them. They, they can just do one. I'm going to keep going down my lane. <laughs> Um, uh, been from Leeds, brought up on the shore. I didn't even know people foraged on out coast. <laughs> uh, just a comment. You do great cam work. Well done. Hope to see more. Cheers, Nicky. Appreciate that. Uh, what's Alderney like for fishing? Apparently, it's very good. I haven't been to Alderney. I can't even remember going to Aldney. But um, Herm is amazing for fishing. Sark's amazing for fishing. And Aldney is good for fishing. I've heard so many stories of people catching taupe off the shore. Massive taupe as well. So yeah. Just a comment. Do, 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 do. What's the best way to cook spider crab? And the best way to eat it? 
best way to cook spider crab, I personally like to just get a little bit of white wine, some butter, some garlic, a little bit of water, and just steam it with the shell off like I did in the video. Oh, I swear to God, it's amazing. But um, good note as well is don't kill a crab and leave it out for a while. Uh, if you leave it a few hours in a bucket and stuff with its head ripped off and that, bacteria forms on shellfish very quick. So try and keep it alive until you get to cook it, then dispatch it, you know. Um, what's the best? Oh, yeah. I'm Jeekin Lager J. It's really nice. Not harsh, Stevie. Nice one. What would you compare lobster to? Think of your best ever meal that you love, yeah? Even like a sweet. It's as good as that. <laughs> Obviously everyone's got different tastes, so you've got to compare it to your best thing, because it's my favourite, you know what I mean? Or one of my favourites. Wish I could forage here in West Sof Sof Suffolk. When can I for join you on your foraging trip? No idea. No idea. Not at the moment. Uh, I've seen a lot of fans out lately, though. Uh, I've seen more and more people turning up down the beach with a good old lobster hook. Uh, it's great to speak to a few people today and yesterday. So are you going out tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going out tomorrow. I'm going out the next day and the next day. Maybe the day after. I don't know. I've got two hours, so I might as well. Your video today was smashing. Love the content. Uh, we've been getting lately. Cheers. Uh, I've just I've just been trying hard to make loads of content, to be honest. And I'm not holding back on it. So as soon as, as, soon as I've got it ready, I upload it. When not fishing or foraging, what do you do for work? Probably sort my taxes out for YouTube and then annoy my girlfriend a little bit. Do a bit of painting. And then I'll go out fishing again. Or foraging. <laughs> Have you ever foraged around Cornwall? No, I will do though. I wouldn't mind coming to Cornwall and doing a bit. Do you ever wear gloves when foraging? I think you can get cuts lifting those boulders. Don't know if you can see my hands. I've got cuts and scratches all over me. Um, it's just the way I've always done it. My dad taught me to do it like this, and I, 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 I don't find it a good foraging session unless you've got a few grazes and you know you get a bit battered up from pulling congas out and stuff. Um, I think it makes the atmosphere of it, you know, it's more rugged, I like it. But if you wear gloves, wear gloves, by all means. <clears throat> um, yeah, and plus I've got a camera as well, so trying to fiddle around with a camera with gloves on is a pain as well. Can you eat squat lobster? Yeah, uh, you just don't get a lot of meat out of them. Cook my first two almost today, which I found using your tips in Jersey. Nice one. Uh, wasn't it you who sent me some pictures before? Uh, I had a few people from Jersey send me pictures of their almonds before. I don't know if it was you or not, but um, yeah. Where do you live? Guernsey Channel Islands. Are crab gills bad for you? Yeah, don't eat them. I'm having my morning coffee here, but I'm starving now. <laughs> Talking about lobsters and spider crabs, those abalones. <laughs> that was cool. Hi from Oregon, USA. I wish I was closer to Oregon coast. Uh, we have a couple foragers who have vids up. But I'd love to win the lotto and move somewhere in the UK. Fair play. Fair play. Look forward to the next few days foraging. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make uh, get the videos out on time every day, but... Um, there's always going to be the video the next day. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I've been trying to get them all out before 8 o'clock. Because I find my views do better at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock early, you know. Um, if it goes later, I tend to get less views. So um, I, I just try and work it out. But if not, I'll upload it the next morning. So then everyone can see it. Uh, it's funny, YouTube. Like, certain times you can get more views. Than, you know what I mean? It's really weird. Right, it's time for bed for you. You're up early, kiddo. <laughs> I ain't going to bed yet, mate. It's only, what's it, 25 past seven. I don't usually go to sleep till about one, half one. I'm 
ones are good. Enjoy the rum. I'm on the wine. Nice one, mate. Um, what am I missing? I love the way you only take what you need. Yeah. End of the day, if you start sustaining the species yourself, you're going to start getting more sustainability in the future, eh? So, makes sense. During the quarantine, it's supposed to be one hour outdoors, no hate. Is it more relaxing where you are? Yeah, we're allowed two hours and we're allowed to forage. Um, I'm in Guernsey Channel Islands, so yeah, we're allowed to do it. That's no hate, you're just giving your opinion. Um, do you catch many squid and have you done a catch and cook, Jay? Lee Pierce, there's loads. I've done uh, catch and cook squid and cuttlefish in the same video. I've done a few. Uh, yeah, I've done quite a few squid videos now, I think. Uh, yeah, my missus outfished me and caught a massive cuttlefish. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Good to see you remembered the foraging bag today, yeah. Uh, I broke a couple of batteries because my freaking case, this is meant to be splash proof and it's crap. Um, and I keep all my batteries in here. And I've always got, I always keep a, like, a fresh battery in here. And this one got soaked and inside the terminal now, it's all green and corroded. So yeah, let's not do that again. That lobster cost me 20 quid battery. <laughs> How long do you take to edit a video like today's? Keep up the date. Uh, about half an hour, something like that. But then it takes me about an hour to get it uploaded and put all my tags in and uh, make my thumbnail and all the rest. Uh, but actually editing, yeah, it takes about half an hour, something like that. Uh, depending on how big the, the video is. Uh, I like my videos to be between 20 to 30 minutes, if I can. You know what I mean? Sometimes I can have an hour and a half of footage and I'll cut all the best bits out to 25 minutes or 30 minutes. Yeah. I have a question, my interest doesn't like, my interest doesn't like crab, but love lobster. Uh, she says, lobster is sweeter than crab, so would you say to try spider, yeah. Uh, if you like lobster, you're going to like spider crab, I can pretty much guarantee that, Jules. Um, brown crab's a different, te uh, different taste. Uh, that's what puts me off with it. I don't dislike it, but it's not my favourite. I wouldn't just jump on the chance to eat one. Uh, but well, sp a spider crab, you've seen in the last video, I devour that bad boy. <laughs> have you ever v notched a female lobster? No, because we, we don't have to do it, so I just never do. As a YouTuber, have you seen more views during the quarantine? Not on a video, no. Uh, my videos have stayed pretty average, to be honest. They haven't got any more views than they normally do. Um, I've had a lot more subscribers. Uh, not Not... Not views though. The views are about average. Uh, I have a look. Nice one. Yeah, there's loads on there, mate. Do you ever go carp fishing? Never. Good morning from West Australia. All right, Jonathan. Uh, Forgeum. Yeah, baby, uh, let me shout out, what's it? Roman, Ashton, and Jackson, shout out to you boys. Foraging in the living room, is it? <laughs> uh, what other coastal foraging channels do you watch? I watch quite a few. Um, I'm not going to sit here and list them all, I, I, I do watch quite a few. What's the strange thing you have cooked? Surgeon. Mm. Penguin eggs. <laughs> That's a new one. Um, it's great watching you forage mate it's like being on the beach oh yeah you know it uh, that's what I like about the GoPros as well uh, even on the linear mode they're quite wide so you get to see all the background on that um, recently subscribed enjoy the video from California do you eat the eels now and again not often Joe PK is a very good channel uh, I recently spoke to him not long ago 
Have you ever wondered of uploading a, a, glag re a gag reel or blooper video? No, because I can't be bothered to edit all, to be honest with you, mate. That's just being totally honest with you. JPK had a £17 lobster. Yeah, it was an absolute beast, mate. Absolute beast. What's the biggest shark you have caught? £40. Something like that. Not very big. What does squat lobster taste like? Just a mini lobster, really. They're quite chewy. They are quite chewy. Uh, later, Jay. See you later, Jonathan. Take it easy, mate. Watching from San Diego. Cheers, Mike. Have you had more bass in the daytime or nighttime? Uh, nighttime, Mark. Definitely nighttime. Hard plastics or softs? Both. Uh, I. I tend to use a scary eel a lot, so obviously I'm going to catch more on it. But it it won't it does it definitely doesn't take away from catch and rape from hard to soft lures. To be honest with you, mate, not in my opinion anyway. What do you use to edit your videos? Either Adobe Pro, Final Cut, or, or uh, iMovie. Good afternoon, Smash Fishing. Woohoo! All right, Roy. Uh, my goal is to catch my first bass this year. You do that, mate. Go for it. I'm sure you'll get there. Persistence is key with bass fishing. Never done much course fishing, mate, no. Right, I'm going to go for a ciggy, guys. If you've got some questions, leave them in there, and I'll come back and I'll read them all. I'll be literally... Two or three minutes. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Have you patented your woohoo? No, definitely not. I'm not the only one that says woohoo. Cheers, Mark. Cheers for watching. 
Anyone from South Africa? Have you tried eating rays? No, I heard they're actually quite nice, but uh, I've only ever caught one ray. <laughs> I've been fishing for them for ages with big baits, like you guys know from the videos. I always throw big baits. So, uh, yeah, and I just never, I've had people catch them near me, everything, but I just never caught a ray until last year. Was it last year or this year? I can't even remember anymore. I'm too tired. Doing well. I was up in the house watching this. Prepping dinner. Nice one. Respect. Uh, respect to all the frontliners. Oh, massive respect. Shout out to anyone that's in the front line. Yeah, I don't get it either, Ian. Um, there is people that... There is people that do go fishing and bass fishing and that. Like, they're not hurting anyone. They're miles away from anyone. Um, but who am I to argue? I'm allowed to go foraging. <laughs> We're having a little tipple tonight. Ah, oh, Rod and Pollux is. Shout out to Rod and Pollux. That's a great channel. If you want to have a laugh, guys, check that channel out. Uh, yeah, great bunch of lads. Thirty-one year anniversary, Tris and Janet Groves. Good on you, nice one. Um, how long have you been foraging seriously? Since I was a kid. Um, my I've been I've not missed an Ormer and Tide since I was about fourteen, fourteen years old. I've been every year since I was fourteen. Obviously, finding lobsters and Ormers, and uh, you find the odd scallops and stuff like that. But as a kid. Like four or five years old, my dad was down the beach with me, or taking me down the beach to rake up cockles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's how long I've been doing it. Ravings are delicious. You don't need any license over here for coastal foraging. You just need to stick to the size limits and the and the limits, like how many you can take. Love the foraging bids. I spent a lot of time on the west coast of Ireland growing up. Uh, someone understands and enjoying the coastline, that's it. What am I missing? Uh, try and put your electrics, electronics in a Ziploc bag. Like, yeah, I do. I keep my, my phone in a, zip, uh, in a Ziploc bag. I don't have my foraging bag with me, so I can't show you. But this, uh, because I've got it all in boxes, it's usually all right. But because I left the battery out, and I put the lobster and the crab in my bag and what happened is the water soaked through the zip and it soaked my battery and anyone that knows about GoPros, they're expensive the battery, 20 quid a pop uh, and I, I have to carry about 5 batteries with me uh, for filming because I film constantly the whole time Rod and Pollux um, yeah I watch Deer Meat for Dinner that's, that's one of the best catch and cook channels on YouTube in my opinion, anyway. Uh, how come you didn't save that brown crab from the video you put up? Uh, no, it wasn't big enough. And uh, a lot of the, this, the shankers at the moment that I'm finding are soft. So they're just not worth keeping. Same as the lobsters. That's why I was saying in, I think it was the, not the video I just uploaded, but the other one. Uh, that's why I was saying not to go ramming the hooks in and uh, just mashing things up. Because lobsters... Are shedding as well. Uh, this time of year is great for big lobsters, but you also get the shedding lobsters as well. So you can smash them up with a hook, not even knowing about it. So it's best to just put the hook in and wait for the lobster to start nipping at it, you know? Because you can feel it. If there's a lobster in a hole, you're, you're going to know about it. So, um, yeah, it's just a good tip that. <laughs> Rays are fun to catch. They put up a solid fight. Yeah. When Sam caught his... Uh, <clears throat> you should have seen it. He caught the video where he caught his... What was it? 11 or 12 pound ray. The uh, small eye ray. And he caught a 6 pounder. That 6 pounder, the initial run, I didn't get on camera yet. Yeah, but it just slammed the rod over yet. Yeah, it was like... Zzzz, it was gone. Never heard a ratchet go like it apart from Big Bass. Um, yeah, it was quite impressive to see that. 
Uh, I don't know the difference between our lobsters and the main. I know the main are a different colour. Ours are blue. They're like blue and really dark, like a really dark blue black. Uh, or sometimes they can be bright blue, you know. Uh, I know the main lobsters are more of a reddish tinge, eh? You still stand there, laugh there, come back, check on you though, for Texas. <laughs> main lobsters are reddish colour, but... They look the same. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they look very much similar. Uh, can you take abalone throughout the year in South Africa? They poach it so badly. No. Um, we're only like, for the first four months of the year, six days in that month that we can forage. And then that's it for the rest of the year. We can't forage them. Uh, I think it's the last tides coming up now. Um... You and Outdoor Chef Live on my favourite catch and cook uh, forage channels on YouTube. Lots of support from New Zealand. Nice one. Uh, that's another great channel. Outdoor Chef Live. I haven't watched a lot of his videos. I've watched quite a few. Uh, quite a few. I've watched about 10 videos so far. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be watching more. Very good channel. I love the knives that he uses. The big, the massive chef knives. That's cool. Uh, we're not allowed to take those out of us. So that's why I don't take any fancy knives with me. Will you ever catch a better stamp of pollock on the island of... Uh, you will catch a better stamp of pollock on the Isle of Man, on Lewis. Yeah, probably, mate. Uh, we used to get a lot of pollock over here, but they've just suddenly gone down and we've just got a, a ton of bass. I was going to swear then, but... Have you ever died for scallops? Nope. Um, have you ever found whelks? Yeah, I've found whelks before. But uh, nothing really big, to be fair. They're usually out a bit deeper. Inglorious fishing. Get your pipe fishing, get your 20 pounder. Island down in my secret lake. Yeah, I'll be up for that, mate. When I can get out about. Love your videos, love watching you and Sam. We have missed him, by the way. Yeah, I miss going out with him as well. It's, it's, always, a, it's always a good laugh when there's lads involved. But, um, yeah. We, uh, we will be out tomorrow. Respect to you. And also Mr. Smash Jen. She's also a banker. And for others on the front line. Yes. Shout out to Jen. She's still working. Bless her. I'll swap the pollock for bass, you lucky son. <laughs> uh, honestly, we get so much bass around here, man. We get loads. Uh, saltwater lure fishing. He knows. You missed me. No, Sam. I didn't miss you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will be doing snorkeling videos. Like uh, dive. I can go to a certain depth, but I just can't do uh, scuba diving. Uh, please try scallop diving. I can't. Um, salt water just woke up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, off to fish for some rockfish. See you later, mate. Nice one. Hope you get. Hope you catch loads, mate. Nice brand of tats. <laughs> Brisbane. Do you know where I got this from? It was an exhibition at DHS for plumbing. Uh, this is when I was working with my boss, and he used to take me to the convention every year, and we used to go there and get a load of freebies. <laughs> Any mud crabs? We don't get mud crab here. Oh, there's still loads of candle making places in Guernsey. I think there's one, mate. I think there's one. Night smash. See you later, dude. I'm shielding on Anglesey with my fishing gear. Any tips for early bass? Find some peer to crab, mate. It's springtime. Um, nicked off a plumber. <laughs> uh, about to watch your video. I'll be back. Hope you're still here. See you later, Lewis. Enjoy, mate. <laughs> what your favourite Lewis is, need and not is. And why? I like the uni to uni knot mainly because I've never had a problem with it, mate. Uh, yeah, uni to uni knot. I have £20 braid, £15 fluorocarbon leader, but you don't need fluorocarbon. Mono is fine, and uh, if I can find the knot, 
There we go. Oh, it's there. Yeah, the knot is very small. Like, you probably can't even see that in the camera. Uh, yeah, I never had a problem with the uni to uni. I do 10 wraps on the braid and I do five wraps on the mono. Uh, mine's the improved Albright. Yeah, I like the Albright. It works, mate, but I just find it fiddly to tie when you're out on the rocks. But uh, yeah, it's a very strong knot and it goes through the eyes, amazing. FG is a pain in the dark, but FG is a pain as well. The Albrights, it's all right. Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's, as you know, mate, um, it's whatever works for you, isn't it? How's the feel? Oh I, oh, I don't know. Do you have kids or tend to? I'd love to have a kid. Would love to have a kid. Don't tell babe that she get broody. to get out of here dinner is ready see you later boy what job do you uh, what job you do actually I'm a youtuber now uh, yeah I'm full-time YouTube as I said before my boss was uh, forced into an early retirement so I had to go on to YouTube for my income good at the mini Andy hopefully not much longer to go <laughs> uh, baby smash on the way no, I haven't got one on the way, mate, but I wouldn't moan. I wouldn't moan if I had a kid. It'd be great. I've run out of coke. Babe? Jan? Probably passed out. Uni to uni and never had one fail. I've never had a uni to uni fail either, mate. Uh, if it did, it'd be my own fault tying it. Um, I've never had one go. What is your favourite candy? Mawams. I love Mawams. They're well good. <laughs> I've never had that question before. That made me giggle. What was your best fishing trip ever? Don't matter if you blanked, but place and laughs. Probably watching Sam catch his biggest ever conger. Um, down Havlet Wall. Uh, 29 pounder it was, and he had to walk about 100 yards to the other side of the slipway. Uh, so yeah, as anyone cut a big conga will know, it'd give you a dead arm and a dead back, but yeah, that was a cool moment, I love that. You make foraging look easy, is it? No. Foraging isn't easy. Um, especially not the way, I, I go out and, I go out like full send. Um, if I'm going foraging, I'm going foraging, I'm going to find something. Um, yeah, that's how it is. But no, is it easy? No, it's not easy. And it's a backbreaker. Especially ormering, because you're picking up giant boulders all the time for hours. So it, it mainly hurts your neck. You have inspired me and my kid to go mud crabbing. Nice one. Teach your kid to get, get their food. Oh yeah. Is the rum still going? Yeah, I'm on the same bottle. This is like four or five lives I've done with this bottle now. It's not bad. Um, good night, Jay. See you later, Ian. Take it easy, mate. There's a slight delay on your audio. Why's that, then? Are you sunburnt from your last fishing trip, or is it the rum catching up? Do you want me to send some coke from the kitchen? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, the USA. Uh, I'm sunburnt. I got burnt today. Is that not the same? Yeah, yeah, it's literally, yeah, same, same. Um, yeah, it's looking fine. I've got, I've got it up on the laptop here as well. See, I can see the picture. It looks all right to me, mate. It might just be a bit of broadband problem or something. Can you go to Australia one day? I would love to. Love watching this channel. I'll be tuning in next time. Take it easy. See you later, dude. Take it easy. Uh, did that audio call in Africa? No delay here. Nice one. Sweating out. We haven't got TA fishing in the live today then. <laughs> uh, shout out to my Zoe. Shout out Zoe. My fastest what? What's in your vid? Can you eat spider crab? Can you eat spider crab? What do they taste? Spider crab is the best crab ever. I love it. Really good eating. Off to get a beauty sleep. 
See you later, Lee Pierce. Take it easy, mate. Easy audio is great. A smash fishing video without how yeah is like dawn chorus without bird time. <laughs> I don't know. The computer might have CV19. Yeah. You've been on a roll with the lobsters the last few days. I've been on a massive roll, Justin. I've been on a way good roll. I've been well pleased. I've had four lobsters in three days. Uh, two keepers, obviously. Uh, I've never tried mud crab. I love spider crab legs. So sweet, but a pain to get meat out. Maybe do a spider crab, a spider leg eating vid. I'm prepped. Uh, you need to put loads of vinegar in the water, loads of vinegar, and it and it will take the meat away from the shell and the legs. The big claws always stick; they just always do. But as for the legs, if you put loads of vinegar in, um, yeah, you'll pull it out in one as soon as you crack it. Let's make make our own rum. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Um, what is the best way to cook a lobster? In my opinion, boil it for five minutes or six minutes and then put loads of garlic butter once you've cut it in half, like butterfly it, yeah? Mix up some garlic butter and fill it with garlic butter and put it under the grill. Oh, oh. Tastes so good and make you want to slap your mama. Um, I fished off rocks today in the sun and got my, and <laughs> burnt my face. That's my sunglass. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling a bit burnt today as well. I'm red on the arms, red on the face. It's all fun. When is your birthday if you don't mind sharing? 22nd of November. I was born in 91. Why did that message get retracted? <laughs> Barry's on a mad one. Uh, what's the rarest thing you have found? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there. Yeah, what's the most lobsters you've had in a pot? In a crab pot? Um, when have I? My, when I used to have my boat, I think it was four or five. Uh, I think it was two keepers and three small ones. I'm pretty sure. That was a long time ago, so it's hard to remember. But usually, it's about two or three. Um, like most or one. That's it. Um, it just varies, mate. It varies. But my most is probably four or five in a crab pot. But I don't do pots very often, to be honest. I used to use a baiting needle and poke the meat out. <laughs> doesn't vinegar mess with the taste of the meat? No, it doesn't. It actually enhances it, in my opinion. No, the vinegar doesn't taste... Uh, you can taste the vinegar a little bit, but not, not a lot. Mud crab are super sweet because we don't have spiders here in, in Oz. <laughs> You get more crab and ours, blue swimmers. Uh, loving the videos the last few days, keeping me sane. Few cans tonight. Cheers from Ireland. Cheers, mate. Between your channel and Fish Locker, both your videos are keeping us all through the lockdown. Love this channel. Cheers, Edward. Appreciate that. Just started watching. Uh, really good. Thank you. Cheers, Nick. Um, have not thought about catch and cook soft shell crab. Uh, yeah, I've, I've eaten the soft shell crabs before, but um, we ate them with the lungs in and everything. We just munched on them. <laughs> they were rank. They were horrible. So yeah, um, we might have to redo that one. Because I hear that they are good. One more. See you later, Webster. Our lobsters and spider crabs inshore season times the same. Shank is all year round. Uh, no, we get lobsters all year round and uh, brown crab. The spider crabs are seasonal. But um, springtime, we do get a lot more of the lobsters because they come into breed and shed. Um, so we find a lot more of the bigger lobsters. Hence, you've seen recently big tides, we've found the big lobsters. You're going back for that spider crab in Glorious Park. Get down there, Jay. Probably not, mate. It's not a big spider crab. It's like it's an average spider crab. So I'm not. I'm not that bothered about it. Uh, at the end of the day, I'd rather find one in the water than actually just take one out of a crab pot. You know. Why do crabs make fishing 
Uh, why do fish make crab instruments? Why is that then, mate? Thank you for your entertainment. I'm still dreaming of all my burgers. <laughs> Maybe one day. Cheers for the chat. Great YouTuber. Bye. See you later, Craig. Take it easy, mate. Yeah, there's loads of golf courses on Guernsey. Um, you need to, to try barbecue or brown crab on coals. Yeah, I'm not that, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of brown crab. I've cooked them every way you can think of. And uh, I like them, but it's not my go-to crab. It really isn't. Because you can't tuna fish. <laughs> Where's Jen? Are you at your house or Jen's? I'm at Jen's house. Uh, Jen's in the other room. I think she's passed out. Um, tastes so good, makes you want to slap your mama. Oh my god, Jay, I spilled my coffee. <laughs> yeah, I've watched the Friday movies. Love your vids during lockdown. Maybe the best worst vid. Oh, I've done some pretty bad ones. I've done some pretty cringeworthy videos as well. Um, why do fish make crap instruments? Oh God, you said it again, man. What other kind of seafood do almonds taste like? No idea. Uh, I've given up on saying that now, to be honest with you. No, no offense to you, mate. Uh, I've answered that question so many times now. I'm just, I just don't want to answer it anymore. Uh, what does Alma taste like, or what does it compare to? You know, it's hard. Uh, you have to try it. Uh, love the channel, Jay. Cheers, mate. Keyboard warrior. Right, I'm doing a live on my group tomorrow. I'm off to bed. See you later, mate. Take it easy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey, Smash just found out the name of that little orange fish. No, it's not the free bearded Rockland Lewis. Uh, no, it's the black headed Gobi. Or Blenny. Black headed Blenny. Uh, the free bearded Rockling is one of the things that I pulled up in the video today. Uh, one of the burgundy colour ones. They sort of look like a catfish. Uh, me and Jen have been together two years, I think, now. Just after I started YouTube, uh, me and Jen got together. What time is it where you are, Smash? It's 9 in the morning in Oz. Uh, it's two minutes to midnight. Do, 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 do. do you still go fishing during this time? COVID-19? No, not at the moment. Um, okay. Only just noticed you're still, you're still live. <laughs> Uh, oh, thought it looked exactly like the one you caught. My bad, mate. No, that's all right, mate. Um, yeah, uh, it was only because a subscriber put it in my comments before, and I looked it up, and they were right. Uh, Black-headed goby. I've never seen one before. I've never seen one so orange either. That's cool. Sup, my guy. All good, David. What fluffy toy you got on the bed? Oh, I forgot what I called it before, but it's a bunny rabbit, mate. They're all very good eating par with monkfish tail. Nice. Here in 8 a.m. and here in South Korea. Nice. <laughs> Drinking pure rum now. Have you ever tried eating Gurnard? Gurnard's amazing, Brian. Oh yeah. I love Gurnard, mate. They're really nice. Smash, when you went to get another spider crab yesterday, you walked past one. Is it? That wouldn't surprise me, mate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look back on the video. Uh, there is stuff that I've missed in the video. Like when I was cooking and the uh, and there was a brown crab under my plate. And I, I have no, no idea about it. I couldn't see it because my plate was in front of me. And the GoPro sometimes, it, it can distort the perception of things, you know. Um, yeah, 
I had, I had endless comments about that. Good night. See you later, Jules. We have said we can go now, Jay. Oh, Sam. Oh, we can go fishing now. Hey, let's go bass fishing, baby. Um, you like Ace videos? Yeah, Ace videos are good. good. Does it not hurt the armor when you smash them off the rock? Uh, ben. I don't smash them off the rock, man. I pop them off a rock. If they're if they're if they're just loose, sometimes an almost just stuck there, yeah, and they're not clamped on. So if you just pop them off, you, they stick back. If an armor is clamped to the rock, like you have to feel it to know what it's like. But when they're clamped on and you pop them off, you break the foot and then you can kill them. But um, yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm always when they're just hanging there, I'll pop them off with my hand. Uh, that does no harm to a normal whatsoever. Never had skate wings. How does it taste? No idea. It was too big. Nah. Uh, I'll show you a big spider crab if I can get out of spear fishing. I'll show you a big spider crab. Uh, the one in that video was a decent spider crab, but that wasn't big. That was only, what, two and a half pounds? Spider crab grow to like seven, eight pounds. They grow massive. Uh, you got huge tides over there at the moment, or normal springs? No, we got huge tides. We, uh, tomorrow is a 0.1, so it's going. The tide's going stupid low. Uh, that one, my last comment was about Jay. I think as good as mo yeah, yeah. Good morning, All right, Robin. You should come to New Zealand. Smash. Show us how it's done. Uh, to be honest, if I came away in forest, uh, I'd want to be with someone that's experienced. You know what I mean? Uh, say, if I went to Australia and went foraging like I do over here, I'd probably die from a blue ring octopus, to be honest with you. Because I stick my hand under the rocks and stuff. I don't want to do that over there. You alive? <laughs> you look cute with your little pink socks on. <laughs> How do you know if a tide is a 1.4 or 1.0 or 0 0.6? Uh, look at the tide tables. Uh, we've got tide tables for each year and it tells you when's the and tides and stuff like that. What's the biggest thing you've ever caught is either a 40 pound turbot, uh, turbot? Uh, either a 40 pound tope or a conga. Uh, it was, I reckon it was just under 40 pound but it was really close. Out here in California, we smack the abalone with 2 by 4 to tenderise it. <laughs> Put it in four with butter and garlic. Yeah, nice one. Fair play to you. <laughs> I caught a five pound lobster on a conga gear. Mackle flapper. Size 10 hook 150. Yeah, fair play. Uh, sometimes down the... Um, sometimes down the lighthouse, you see the lads pulling up big lobsters just by hooking them. It's quite funny. Yeah, <laughs> President Trump. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, what is the lowest tide you've ever forest seen? Uh, it was below chart Dayton. It was like a a negative three, I think it was. How do you know about all of the things you catch? Or is it just the Guernsey Way? Um, all the little creatures and that. I've studied books and all that sort of stuff. But as for like stuff to eat, uh, I was taught that by my dad at very young of what to eat and when. A <laughs> 40 pound turbo, that would piss Danny off, yeah, it would. Uh. <laughs> uh. My first free bearded rockling was three pound. That's that's massive. That's huge for a rockling. Happy face, cheers, mate. What happened to Sam's boat? It went straight into the rock. Um, that brown crab was in isolation until you were eating on top of it, of his roof, yeah. And I slapped the old uh, lobster head on its head, eh? Oh, I got ripped for that. That was quite funny. Ah, what time is it? 12 o'clock. I'm going to be coming off the live soon, guys. If you've got any questions, just leave them in quick. What are, your, what are the regulations for vacationers foraging? Um, you can forage. Uh, you can forage as well, as long as you stick to the guidelines, stick to the size limits, you know what I mean? You'll be fine. Uh, don't take any ormers unless it's an ormer and tide. 
Uh, otherwise, you'll get prosecuted. You'll get massively prosecuted, so don't do it. Mate, come to Australia. You might get killed, but stuck on the rocks for are oh, huge, but don't have claws. Yeah, you get the spiny lobster, eh? I think you might call them crayfish. Uh, we get similar over here, but I just haven't found one yet. Does your dad and mum watch your smash vids? Yes, they do. My mum was in this live before. They watch from a distance. The way you just describe what happened to Sam's boat was hilarious. There's only so much times I can answer the same comment. Like, so if I sound a bit blunt, I don't mean to be rude to anyone. It's just like, if you hear something over and over and over again, it gets a bit tedious. Hey, Scott Harris is in the live. Is there a limit on spider crabs? No, because you can catch so bloody many of them. Uh, they come in in masses. They come in in masses. Please take your hat when you go to bed, dude. Will do, mate. Down. No, you don't need a fishing license here. Only if you're selling your catch. How big is Guernsey? Tiny. How's the family, Jay? All good, mate. All good. Everyone's good at the moment. Everyone's keeping their distance from every other human. So, yeah, I'm the same as well. I'm just all I'm doing is going straight down the beach, coming straight back here. That's it. Um. We're all just doing what we can at the end of the day. What's your favourite food that isn't seafood? Steak. Steak or burgers? I would have thought. I love burgers. I love your videos, mate. Uh, never miss the one. You have a good rest. You're grumpy. Yeah. Uh, been busy, Andy. Things to do. Stuff to be sorted. That's it, mate. Been down the farm. Yeah, Scott. Barry's a moderator. <laughs> Always play your videos every night. Nice one, mate. Uh, hello, Scott Harris. Bah. <laughs> You're amazing, bro. Cheers, mate. I appreciate you. I'm getting really tired. I've had a long day today. Literally foraging for two hours straight, and then I came back, and then I quickly edited the video and processed it and got it up. And by then, it was bloody I don't know what time it was, it was well late. Yeah, so I'm feeling it a bit today, so I'm not the most lively person in the world. When this isolation is over, do you reckon you will try do off shore fishing? Oh, I'll be doing a lot, a lot of shore fishing, yeah. Um, what is, what I mainly do now is I try and, on the big tides I go foraging, on the small tides I go fishing. Um, that's how I try and work my channel in. Um, yeah, it just depends what comes up. I want to catch, I'm missing conga fishing to be honest with you. Trigger happy blast and fuel. <laughs> just woke up and saw, saw this. Love your channel by the way. Cheers mate, mother goose. Have you tried any flavoured rum? If so, what is your favourite? No, I just, um, I either Captain Morgan's or Lamb's rum, that's what I drink really. Does the two types of oysters you have taste different? Nah, they don't really taste different. We've got three types. We've got the saddle oyster, we got the native oyster, and we've got the Pacific oyster. Uh, mate, I live in the Netherlands. We mostly have sandy beaches and a bit of rock. So do you think it's worth it for me to go out and forage a bit? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you've got a rocky shore, like a little side rock bit, yeah? Uh, if you've got massive boulders, be sure to get a hook and go underneath them if you can. Because um, a lot of the time you'll see a hole like this big with water in, eh? Uh, but you won't see the lobster. You won't, you won't see it because it, the, where the water is shining, you can't see under the water. So when you put your lobster hook in, you've got to go right to the back of the rocks, or if it's usually they're out at the entrance. So yeah, um, have a look around, man. You might you might find something. Barry, what happened to your buddy? Let's fish. I think Barry's timed him out about six times. <laughs> it's got fun. How's life? It's good. 
Good. Well, as good as it can be. Barry binned him early. <laughs> Scott. I gave Barry a bit of power, yeah? And he's just been like, boom, 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 getting rid of people. Uh, da, da, da. Are you going out the next few days? It's meant to be good weather. I'm going out every day, mate. Every single day. I don't care if my back's saying no, I'm still going. <laughs> Not seen him for a few days. Uh, has he been on tonight then? Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's been on tonight. Can you make a living full time fishing? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. Uh, fishing doesn't pay as good as it used to, but yeah, I, I believe you can. I'm a huge fan, Doc Junior. Cheers, mate. Appreciate you. Uh, um, I felt sorry when I heard about Sam's boat. Oh no. Yeah, uh, that was horrible. He sent me the picture of his boat on the rocks, right? And I didn't believe it was his boat. Really didn't believe it. Do I, sweetie pie? Yeah, just gonna turn this light off. Alright. You going to bed? Yeah. Alright. I'll, I'll be in soon anyway. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. How, do you, how far do you live from the beach? Literally 60 seconds. Uh, I can get to the beach within a minute. Fair juice, Jay. Thanks for uploading these days. Cheers, mate. Nice one. What's the biggest fish you have speared? Uh, it's a conger eel. Uh, I've forgotten how big it was. It wasn't massive. It was only about 15, 16 pounds. But it, it bent my spear to pieces. It ruined my spear. Those lobos were huge. That's what springtime's for, Scott. Big lobsters, mate. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. Night, Jen. Everyone say night, Jen. Bye. <laughs> I'm off, mate. I'm off in four hours. Catch you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. See you tomorrow, Sam. Take it easy, mate. Uh, tell the truth. You let it go. What did I let go? She sounds angry. No, she's just tired. My girlfriend don't get angry. Hi Jen, night Jen. <laughs> Do you ever go up north? Uh, I haven't been anywhere foraging or fishing yet because of all this crap that's going on. Uh, me and Sam have plans to come to the UK and uh, Costa Rica, but yeah, we can't do that at the moment. Yeah, Barry, what are you on about there, mate? Tell the truth, you let it go. I don't know what you're on about. I'm sweating out in here, it's bloody hot. Have you turned the heater up, babe? Well, I can't wait to see your vid tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it goes up tomorrow. If it don't go up tomorrow, it'll go up the next day. Have you ever caught crayfish? No. Oh, Sam's boat. Yeah. Good night, Jen. Please stay safe and healthy. Yeah, she's working at the moment, bless her, eh? Best moment foraging. I get a bigger buzz from seeing my friend pull out a lobster than me catching lobsters, to be fair. Uh, probably when Sam caught his biggest lobster. Uh, in that video where we were egging him like, Go on, Sam! And he's there shaking, getting his big ass lobster out. That was fucking awesome. I loved it. Excuse my language, but it was awesome. Uh, I love moments like that. Seeing my mates succeed in like, wrestling these beasts. I love it. Uh, I get a buzz of it. Because I'm my <laughs> You have, I have six, four boys, two get. sorry, I don't get that. I'm so jealous of the things you find and get up to. I wish I could find the stuff you get. Well, you can, mate. Uh, I don't know if you're in Guernsey. If you're in Guernsey, you can do that. I'm no different to any of the foragers over here, mate. Uh, I may know a few little creatures more, and that's it, but... They can catch just as many lobsters, just as many ormas as I can. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm no better than anyone else. You're welcome over in Cornwall anytime, mate. And the trip on my boat as well. I'd love to, Andy. I do plan to come to Cornwall. I do. Um, especially where, where Craig is as well. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go fishing around there and uh, foraging. My plans are, if I come over to the UK, 
On the low tides, I'm going to forage, and on the high tides, I'm going to fish. And then in between, I'm going to sleep. That's my plan. Do you think you would start doing smash fish and hoodie and merch? Yes, that's definitely going to come. Would you travel the world to forage different beaches? Yes, definitely. If I ever come to Guernsey, will you forage with me? Maybe. I can't promise you that. Um, yeah, because we live on an island, so we don't know what the weather's doing. You know what I mean? It, it's so much. Jay, get Andy Scott to 500 subs at least the uploads. I didn't even know Andy does videos. Does he do videos? Oh, I can't click his name at the moment. Andy, send me your link. I didn't even know Andy did videos, mate, to be honest with you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me know, though, Barry. Nice one. After the virus, of course, yeah. After the virus, I'll be up for anything. I really will. Uh, as long as my savings don't disappear from this fucking virus. But, um, yeah. How are you? Pretty good, mate. Is in the Netherlands crab. Is in the Netherlands crabs and lobsters. Sorry, I don't get that, mate. That lobster looked well nice the other night. Uh, the other day, I have one for tea tonight as well. I can't, I uh, can't get better than seafood. You can't get better than fresh seafood you caught yourself. Yeah. He has a few, Jay. Is it? I didn't even know. All right. All right, Andy. Shame on you. Yeah, piss off, Barry. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear so much in my lives at the moment, yeah, because I always get demonetized. Um, that's why I'm trying to be well behaved. But if this wasn't, I'd be telling I'd be telling Barry to. <laughs> um, yeah, Andy. Yeah, just send me your link on Instagram or uh, Facebook, mate. Uh, yeah, I'll have a look, mate. You've been a moderator of my channel for ages now. At least I could do a look at your channel. Have you ever caught an octopus? No. Any plans to travel to Canada? Possibly. Where can I donate to you something? Uh, I have a super chat if you want to donate, but don't feel like you have to. You don't have to at all. But if you want to, then fair play to you, mate. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to push anyone to donate to me. Uh, I don't care if you do or don't. End of the day, I appreciate it all the same. Only stopped five short ones up recently, but once I'm out, more on the boat. I'm actually, I'm really interested in... Right, hold on. Let me just do something. Babe, can I borrow your phone? Sorry. Sorry guys, I've got Mrs. Smash's phone. What's your channel, Andy? Is it just Andy Scott, yeah? I can't find your channel, Andy. Have a good night. Take it easy, mate. Just click on his face, goose. Yeah, I can't, mate. Uh, not on the laptop. Would you get a boat again? Yeah, I, I will do eventually, mate. Um, is there lobsters and crabs in the Netherlands? Uh, I would have thought so. Um, click on my pic. I can't. I don't know why I can't click on your pic. 
Look, I'm genuinely trying as well. Look, I'll prove it to you. Look, Andy Scott, I can't click on it. I can't click on your name, anything, because it's on the phone. I don't know why. I'm sweating out in here, it's really hot. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't click on your channel, man, but send me your link and then I'll have a look, mate. Uh, up in Fifi, Scotland, great spot here for lobsters. Biggest is £6.6. Six. Nice, that's a beauty lobster, that one. Cracker. How do you get someone out? Uh, purge them. Uh, put, get some fresh sea water, put it in a bucket with an aerator, and leave it overnight. Uh, you'll purge any sort of clam and stuff like that. Well, do you think you'll go fishing or foraging in Ordney? Definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's something that's definitely going to happen. It won't let me go to your channel neither, Andy Scott. Yeah, it's weird, eh? I'm not on any social. So Barry's advertising your channel and you can't even click on it. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you killed a creature and how did you feel, mate? I'll be honest with you. I was a lot more brutal than I am today. I've grown a heart over the years. I used to catch a fish and just throw it in the freezer. Let's be straight. Um, yeah. I'm a lot more sentimental with things now than I used to be. I was raised by a fisherman. My dad was a pr proper rough fisherman as well. So he was used to cutting things up and chucking them in the buckets. You know what I mean? So yeah, I sort of... I, I, I took off that, you know? As you do. Do you remember the... Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. You should open the window if it's hot. Yeah. How can I get a smash sticker? Want to promote your channel in South Africa? Um, I've got no nothing to sell at the moment, to be honest with you. Uh, I will be getting all that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe some iron-on patches as well. Uh, I don't know yet. Why can't I click on the person's name and go to the channel? Uh, Andy, you need to open your channel up, mate. You've got subscribers wanting to subscribe right now. I found the channel. It's a picture of him. Mighty fine cod. Yeah, that's right. All the Smash fam, stay safe. See you later, TBL. Just say report or block views. Say go to channel. But not now, yeah. Uh, really appreciate you, Jay. Going out there, filming for us, even with things going on. Especially thank you for making us crave more seafood. I'm dying to go out to the beach again. Thanks, Clay. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm trying my best at the moment. I'm trying to make daily uploads. Uh, with fishing content or foraging content, it's not easy. It's not easy to do daily uploads. It's not like I'm standing behind a computer all the time, you know. It's hard to do, but um, it's what I love to do, so why not? Barry, just says report all, but oh yeah. Where are you from? I assume from Cornwall or something. No, I'm not from Cornwall. Uh, I'm, I'm a Guernsey boy. I'm an islander. Uh, look up Guernsey Channel Islands, that's where I am. 28 pound cod. Jesus Christ. That's a beauty, man. 28 pound cod, man. Really? That's... I knew that freaking cod was big. I didn't know it was that big. How old are you and Sam? I'm 28 and Sam's 12. I don't actually know how old Sam is. Uh, I think he's 22. I think he's 22. Is Sam excited that he got... The whole rest of the school year off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is the rum burning, maybe? No, my legs are aching and my back's aching. I've been lifting boulders for freaking ages. OJ, okay, I enjoy your videos very much. Stay safe. Uh, stay well. Greetings from New York. Thanks for watching, Deborah. Uh, get on the spiders, mate. I'm going to be doing them as... Got a hair in my eye. Um, as soon as I'm down in South Wales. Fair play, Charlie. Nice one. 
Sounds like you got a Scottish accent. No, I've got a Guernsey accent. Uh, Guernsey is like a big mix of accents. Uh, if you type in Andy Scott and change the... Hey, how come I can't do it then? That's what I did. Where is it? <laughs> um, right, sorry guys, I'm just trying to find Andy's channel because it's annoying me. Oh, I found it. Ow. Damn. There you go, guys. Check that channel out. That wasn't me. That was Andy. There you go. That's Andy Scott's channel. Peace. He's been my moderator for ages. <laughs> Jen's now subscribed to you. Do you want me to send the link? I think Andy's going to send the link, mate. It's all good. You used to be able to click the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pain, eh? Well I've done about time. Don't you stop, Barry. I've been nice to you tonight. Would you have any tips for crab wheeling? Yes, get some fresh bait. Uh, fresh, oily bait. And then go to the deepest mark you can find. Uh, yeah. Deepest and most weedy mark you can find, because you're, then you've got a high chance of catching a lobster as well. <laughs> and he has really good content. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I haven't checked it out yet. It's the first I've heard of it. Cheers, Rock God. Uh, your phone's here, sweet. You're subscribed to Andy Scott now. <laughs> You've been fighting some big brown edible crabs lately. The, the brown edibles haven't been that big, to be honest with you. The lobsters have. Dolphins are looking glorious. Charlie White, we're in South Wales. How many subscribers have you got, Andy? Uh, it said 17 on there, but I thought someone said you had 500. Oh, that's strong. 91 still in the live. 156 likes. Nice one. Go away, email. Don't want emails today. There's a hair there. You must have checked my music playlist. How long do you leave the crab wheel before pulling it? Ah, oh, that's a good question, mate. Um, depends on what you're going for. If you're going for lobsters, leave it down for half an hour. When we've been filming, the lobster has always come between 10 to 20 minutes. The first 10 minutes, uh, there's nothing. It's usually fish. But, yeah, that's length onwards. The lobsters always turn I don't know why that is. I mean, they must be checking it out or something. But, yeah, after 10 minutes, that's when they turn up. So give it half an hour for lobsters. The spider crab, every 15 to 20 minutes, uh, is usually a good time. And if you get a load of big ones in one area where you throw it out, keep throwing it out there, because usually they're in clusters. Been watching your channel. Before 10k subs, legit one of the reasons I moved back to the South Wales from Canada. <laughs> That's Scott Harris, I'm from... I, I can't even say that. My favourite beach is... Southern, Southern, Southern Dawn. Nice. Charlie White. Sorry for the long one. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, mate. It's hard for me to get there. 
Uh, 18 subs, mate. Only started it 10 days ago. Oh, nice, mate. I didn't know any of this, man. Well, come on. Why is everyone telling me this? <laughs> Jay, get Andy Scott to 500 subs at least. He uploads. <laughs> what do you mean at least he uploads? I upload too. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll give you a little shout out, mate. That's fine. I'll put you on a community post. Um, which one of your videos has the crab wheel in? I think there's a couple with crab wheels. I'm not sure. You'll have to look through, mate. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Bye, Jay. See you later, Silent Moth. Do the lobsters tear each other's arms off like crabs will? Yes. Um, don't put two lobsters together in a bucket. Always keep them separate. Unless you've got rubber bands or something. Uh, <coughs> you still here? You started three hours ago to get some sleep. I haven't been here three hours, have I? No way, man. Would you go on TV if they offered it? So we need a decent sea fishing program. No way. Uh, YouTube is my program. Why would I want to work for someone else? Uh, I'd rather make my own money, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't want to be dictated to by people saying, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. I like doing what I want. Speaking of which, where's Saturn's video? It's coming. Searching for Andy Scott channel. Yeah. I've got a hair there and I can't get it. You right there, sweetie? <coughs> Most of the Crab Wheel videos are from around 10 months ago, I think. My favourite ones. It's not too bad that way. Got a bit going. I'm way moving to West Wales now, though. But back down it. Oh, fair play, mate. Nice one. It's 4.30. Nah, it's only half twelve here. Yeah. I think I went live at half ten. Or ten. I don't even know what time it was. Hey, smash up the content these days. Cheers, mate. That's one. Oh, I always see you commenting all the time, mate. I can't pronounce your name, but I see you commenting all the time. <laughs> when did you start fishing and foraging? When I was a baby. I was, I was, I don't know, very young. Uh, probably four years old, something like that. Uh, my dad was a commercial fisherman, well, before I was born, so uh, I got brought up into fishing as soon as I, as soon as I could do anything, really. Shout out from the USA, Connecticut, Connecticut representing, I've got a hair in my eye and I can't get it, I think it's actually in my eyeball. Nothing worse than a hair that you can see in your eyeball. And on YouTube. Good going, mate. Happy days. Cheers, mate. Shanker spider lobster. Lobster, spider crab, then shanker. Hey, watching from... Hey, man, I started watching your videos recently. Love the channel. Nice one. Thank you. Hey, brother, keep up the awesome videos. Watcher from the... Wait. From New Mexico. Uh, no goes, but you can see the ocean and the tips and out. Yeah, nice one. Alexander. That's an eyelash in your eye. Yeah, it must be, because I can see a little white thing there. It's annoying me. Can I ask, how is living on the, on, on the island? I personally love it. Some people moan about it because they haven't got a hobby, but as long as you've got a hobby over here, you're all right. If not, you're going to go mad because you're stuck on an island. You've got nowhere to go. Uh, you can drive from literally 15 minutes from one end of the island to the other. <laughs> Thinking of doing videos in Japan, as I can speak it. Uh, and this type of content does really well out there. Yeah, go for it, mate. If anyone that wants to do YouTube, go for it, mate. Biggest tip I can give you is keep going. Just keep going. How long do you keep a wheel in for brown crab? You're only going to get a brown crab if they're there, mate, so... Same same time as the lobsters and the spider crabs. Um, if they're there, they're going to move in pretty quickly. They're not the brightest crab in the world. Always got to have a hobby. Just a tip for all the newcomers to the fishing. If you're not sure about anything when you're out, just ask other anglers. Most will help. Uh, help you out and give you a lot of info. Yeah, you're right, Scott. Yeah, 
Just don't be scared to ask around, man. Watching from Fifi Scotland. Great vids. Cheers, mate. There it is. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you little bugger. Uh, aside from foraging, what other hobbies do you have? Fishing! <laughs> uh, anything to do with the sea. Spear fishing, stuff like that. Get you some gloves smashed? Nah, no way. I was raised to batter these hands. It's all good. What time is it over there? It's 25 to 1. Is razor clam good for spider crab? Never tried. Um, what you can do is limpets. If you knock the top of a limpet and thread loads onto the wire or string or whatever you're using for your bait holder and throw it out, you'll catch spider crabs that way. Is Jen okay? Yeah, she's down. Have you ever tried a hobby and absolutely hated it? No, never. Man hands. My hands have been battered. I've got cuts and bruises and blood blisters all over my hands and my arms. Who cares? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure California's got the red abalone, the massive ones. They get huge ones. <laughs> okay. You should see my dad. See his scars. You can't see on the camera, mate. I've got scars all over me, mate. I've had a lot of times when my knuckles been open and you can see the bones and stuff. <laughs> that's right. The fishing community loves loves to share knowledge to newcomers. That's right. There's a real man who don't need no gloves. Um, uh, loving the live. Smoking a glass of red. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, she's sound, mate. Just a little cough. Um, she's not ill or anything. She just she she had a cough for ages ago, <sighs> but uh, she's just getting over it now. Did you tell Jen about the ghost noise you heard? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I farted. Uh, shout out Abby. Pally has almost, probably, yeah. Um, we could hear that noise. We played it back. Weird. Yeah, that was weird. I was sitting there all quiet and the freaking door went. <laughs> Sid Oja. Oh, why are you up, Sid? <laughs> 20 to 1. What's your favourite forageable seaweed? Uh, I like the, uh, the sea lettuce. That's probably my favourite. So far, I haven't tried them all yet, so... Uh, have you ever been to the Isle of Wight? I go... Uh, Andy, Sid's... Uh, I'm, a, I'm very good friends with Sid's dad. She's a kid. Um, has it rained recently? Is the cabbage clean again? <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah. I know every year, love crab and never catch any though. Uh, you're... Uh, True inspiration, all the best. Cheers, Josh. Appreciate that, mate. Nice one. Uh, I've never... Oh, sorry, no. I have been to the Isle of Wight, but when I was very young. I haven't been recently, no. What's the biggest abalone you've ever found? Abalone only grow to about six inches over here, about that big. You know, and um, yeah, and then they just die out. Uh, ever go night foraging? The lobsters tend to move around. Uh, Cam Taylor. Uh, I've got videos of night foraging with UV lights and finding lobsters and all that, mate. Uh, I've got loads of night foraging. I love night foraging. You're right. Uh, the creatures come out at night time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Tides can be lower in the winter months as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you do. You get the lobsters coming out of the holes more. How long's abalone season? We've only got a couple of days left, I think. I think these are the last ormorant tides and then we're done. Uh, say ormorant, abalone, same thing. Uh, see you later, mate. 
Uh, NBC. Yeah, I'm going to come off the live now, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. You've been stung by a jellyfish? Yep, yeah, I have done. Right, I'll see you later, guys. I'm off now. I've had fun. Sam, big brother. Let him stay up at midnight. <laughs> oh, is that a road sash now, guys, is it? <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate it, guys. Adios, amigos.